Mr. Maliba, I hope the change in UK policy towards Hezbollah is a step forward. Why do the UK and US show double standards in their Middle Eastern policy? Meaning, they call for peace and coexistence between Palestinians and Israel, while they support Israel on a political and military level. Why don't you condemn Israeli crimes while you deny Palestinians their right to express their frustration to the injustice they face and forbid them from obtaining arms? And you fight them in the name of countering terrorism. When will the UK change its position towards Arab resistance and stop supporting Israel? I'm sorry you feel we have double standards. We try to have a clear and consistent and principled position. We do reject violence on any side as the basis for resolving dispute, uh, whether in this region or elsewhere. But I think it's very important that I make clear, first of all, our overriding commitment to a two-state solution. Justice and security for Palestinians and Israelis demands a Palestinian state that can live alongside Israel. We believe that Palestinian state should be based on 1967 borders. We believe Jerusalem should be the capital both of Israel and of the Palestinian state. And we are clear that there needs to be a fair settlement for refugees. That is a clear and consistent position that you can see in the UN resolutions that we support and defend and in the positions that we take whether in respect of uh, rocket fire from Hamas or settlement building by uh, Israel, both of which we oppose. So we try to take a position that is principled and clear and consistent. And I hope you uh, will accept that it's not designed to support one side or the other, because the truth is that Israelis and Palestinians need to live next door to each other in the interests of security and justice for both of them.